http colon slash slash www.cosmicparadigm.com slash marks underscore corner slash Friday, September 4th, 2009. False light share this. The messages on this site build on each other. For their full impact, read them in sequence beginning with September 2008, archived below. They detail the situation on this planet, our place in the universe, and the positive picture for our future, if we are willing to act. I hope, by presenting them to you, that they spark your curiosity and a decision to join with others to create a new civilization on Earth. As always I encourage you to seek your own unique truth, and begin to live it. This is my 59th posting to Mark's Corner for 2009. Today I welcome the return of Adrile, who will provide answers to questions from readers of these messages. Greetings. I offer the following to you as one who has observed your planet since its inception. Many of your enlightened brothers and sisters of Earth have fallen into the trap of believing that some magical moment will happen wherein they will ascend to some higher dimension in an instant of time. Keeping in mind that Earth is returning to her former self does not square with this perception of a magical ascension. Rather it is imperative that everyone understand that there are soul contracts to be fulfilled, karma to be played out, and the effects of free will choices to be learned. If these are introduced into the picture, then the magical moment makes no sense, rather a path of modifying what is already in place and or creating a new, albeit at a higher frequency, will occur. If this were a more reasonable scenario, one would look at the institutions controlling one's life and see what needed to be changed to make them compatible with the new earth. Take for instance the institution of government. Does it serve the people for whom it was created? In most cases, it does not. Most governments of planet Earth serve those in power, elected or appointed. They believe that it is theirs to build empires on the backs of the governed. Theirs is to milk their positions for status and wealth. We who see all in oneness know that this is the not the right function of government. So your governments will collapse of their own weight as you transition to the new earth. And with what will it be replaced? A new form of government, dedicated to serving the needs of all will replace the old. And who will construct this new government? You who are returning with Earth to her former brilliance are charged with creating new institutions. And how will you learn to do this? You will be taught, by your brothers and sisters from other worlds who have mastered governing. They will come to be with you to teach you the art of governing in oneness. Those of you who would be the students of this new government, who would have a hand in creating the new government, will learn what has worked on other planets. And you will determine a form of government suitable for the new Earth, the brilliant new Earth, the most magnificent planet in the galaxy. Earth with her diversity will require a government in accordance with that diversity. Perhaps it will be governments, not just a government. That is something to be hashed out in discussion between you the caretakers and those who will bring their knowledge and wisdom. Nothing will be imposed from afar. Rather it will be developed jointly. 
and other institutions will similarly be created in this manner. As a joint exercise between those of your planet, the caretakers of the new Earth, and the wise from around the galaxy. This process has already begun, in a fashion, as with these transmissions and those of others. This process has already begun as Earth humans begin to ask, what are the ways in which we can give birth to a civilization of light? So you see the concept of an instantaneous ascension cannot occur because it would abrogate the opportunity to experience the creation of a wondrous new civilization, and after all, what is life about except to experience and grow? No the opportunity is too ripe for growth among the caretakers to miss out by magically ascending to the higher frequencies. Ascension is a hard-won reward for a job well done, not an instantaneous lift that will then require lifetimes to appreciate. At the opposite extreme from those who believe in a magical ascent are those who believe that your world is in darkness without redemption. They are awake enough to see the problems of your sphere and feel overwhelmed by them. They correctly perceive the activities of the agents of the dark energy, clinging to their power and wealth. They correctly assess that they have been misled and manipulated, but they fail to see the light at the end of the tunnel. For indeed, despite their denial, there is now light at the end of your long enslavement. Due to the energy of your star brothers and sisters, your planet is slowly returning to her former brilliance before the dark energy and its minions descended. But this can only be sensed from the point of view of love. If the vantage point is one of fear, then indeed all looks hopeless and it makes sense to continue the battle for survival. That is the trap of many who are awake enough to see what is going on, but not awake to the positive effects of the light the hopeful changes taking place around them. For if one concentrates on all the misdeeds, all the forms of enslavement, and the concentration of wealth and power in the hands of the agents of the Dark One, then it does indeed appear to be hopeless. As with many things in this universe, balance is called for. See where the light is emerging. See where the dark is crumbling. But be realistic that all is not light, nor is all dark. Shades of grey are a more reasonable way to view the situation of your planet. Grey in that the light is slowing overcoming the darkness, but it still has a ways to go. Grey in that the light of truth is shining on dark activities. The light is ferreting out hidden sources of power, the accumulation of vast wealth, and the enslavement of the many for the advantage of the few. See the middle ground, the grey, for the dark is losing its hold. See the grey for therein is balanced.